Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, in this topic, uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about the uh, selection tree. Okay, so our selection tree actually, it is a dockable window which uh, displays a variety of hierarchical views of the structure of the model as defined by the Revit or any other CAD application in which the model was created. Okay, so our uh, objective in this lesson, so let us try to check out our selection tree, although we already did some uh, discussion in some exercises that, that I did. So we've been using selection tree in our previous exercises, but this time let us try to talk about more on selection tree. All right, so to get started, so I'm going to open my sample file, the RME advanced sample project dot nwf so i'm going to open this one okay so this is my uh, sample model now to turn on your selection tree you can just go to the home tab select and search panel so you can see there the selection tree so you just need to select this one click and then you will be able to see now your selection tree okay so if you're going to expand this so you will be able to see that uh, this uh, model is arranged by level. So that is our standard view. So when you say standard, so it displays the default tree hierarchy, including all the instancing. Okay, the hierarchy can be sorted uh, uh, alphabetically. Okay, so if you are going to expand this, by the way, this is the file name. Okay, and then this is uh, these are the levels. Let's say I, I'm going to expand the level here. Okay, so you can see the level one, so it's highlighted, and then you can see here the elements on our level one, and then you can still dig into that particular uh, instance. So let's say I'm going to expand the air terminals, so you can see here the types of the air terminals, you can still dig in, okay, so you can see from here, you can still dig in that, so you can see the types, you try to dig, so you can see this. Uh, property here if you want to know what is this property you can always turn on the properties here so from the display panel you can see the properties there okay so it will tell you what is that particular object so it's an air terminal okay so basically our selection tree this is where every element in our entire model is in store uh, stored so I think you already know that the selection tree can help us to navigate through the model. Okay, it can allow us to zoom in, uh, in on the specific elements. Okay, by the way, the file that I have opened here is .nwf. So another file that you can use is nwd and nwc. All right. So let us try to expand the other option here or select the other option, which is compact. Okay, so if it is compact, it's, uh, it displays a simplified version of the hierarchy of the standard option. Okay, as you can see, it only shows here the file and then the level. Okay, file and the level. So let's say, for example, you want to separate the level three. You can click that one. You can right click. And then you can select here, hide and selected elements. So it will now uh, show you only the level three, okay? And all the elements on our level three, all right? So if you want to show all the elements that, uh, that we just hidden, you can always select here and hide all, okay? All right, so the last step is our properties. You click this one, so it will display the hierarchy based on the item's properties. So this enables simple manual searching of the model by item uh, property. Okay, you can select from here, let's say by item, you can expand that. Okay, let's say I'm going to select here the name, expand it. Okay, so let's say you are looking for... Uh, uh, let me just try to look for 
lighting fixtures. So I'm going to click the lighting fixtures. Let's say I want to hide uh, I want to uh, hide the unselected elements. So I'll just right click this. I'm going to select hide unselected. There you go. And then I'm going to escape. So as you can see, you will now be able to see all the elements whose category is under uh, lighting fixture. Okay. So it will allow you to visualize your model uh, showing only the lighting fixtures. Okay. All right. So I'm going to change this view now to our uh, standard. So just standard. Okay. And then I'm just going to select here and hide all. All right. So basically, this is what the use of your selection tree. Okay, so it is something like the project browser in Revit. Okay, so this is our uh, little explorer. So our selection tree. Okay, so by the way, if you are using NWF, okay, if I'm going to click this one, okay, our NWF. You will notice there's a source file here if you check the properties. If you are opening an NWF, let's say you, after you open, you append some uh, drawings or links. You link some objects or model in your NWF. Any changes that uh, you made here in the source file. So let's say you override this and then after that, you reopen it here in Navisworks, it will update your NWF file, okay? So these are live models, okay? So any changes that you made in the links that you have appended in your Autodesk Navisworks, if it is an NWF, so those are live files. So any changes that you made on those links, so once you open your Navisworks file, your NWF file, it will update the model or if you select your refresh. Okay. Right. All right. So this is our uh, model. So the practice is you create a new uh, Navisworks project and then after that, you append the NWC files. Okay. So each NWC files is a standalone file and is considered uh, the same as the rest. So we can still drill in because this one is RVT file. So much better if it is an NWC file. You can export it as an NWC file and then you append it. Okay, you can still drill. Okay, like this. I can drill on here. Okay. All right, so basically this is our selection tree. Okay, you can also select the pin here to auto hide it. Okay, if you want to minimize some space, okay, you can uh, pin it. Then you can just click again the tab. It will show you again your uh, selection tree. Okay, so basically that's how you use your uh, selection tree. Okay, all the appended files that you're going to place or put in this project, you'll be able to see it here in our selection tree. All right. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. So on our next topic, I'm going to teach you how to find items in Navisworks Manage. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.